How do you make a grid in Adobe Illustrator? There are a couple of different methods. Let's start off with Illustrator's built-in grid. To use this, go up to the View drop-down and select Show Grid. Once you click Show Grid, it will display the grid across your entire document. You can adjust the grid size by going to Illustrator, then Preferences, on PC this is probably under Edit, and then go to the Guides and Grid section. No matter how you get here, there's a tab on the left called Guides and Grid. The grid lines are currently set at 72 pixels. If you want this to be something like 100, you can adjust the subdivisions. So right now it's four subdivisions, which means every 25 pixels, there will be a subdivided line and a grid line every 100. You can also adjust the color and choose whether it's lines or dots. You can show the grid on top of your elements if you uncheck grids in back, or if you want your elements on top of the grid, just leave that checked. Hit OK, and you'll see the grid adjust to 100 pixels between each grid line, with subdivisions of 25 each. To design on this grid, I recommend going back up to View and selecting Snap to Grid. Now when I create elements, I'll zoom in with CMD or Qtrl Plus and grab the Rectangle tool. If I create an element and start it in the middle of a grid line, it allows me to create this shape by locking it into the grid, because we've snapped it to the grid. You might be wondering why the shape is outside of the grid if it's snapping to the grid. The path itself snaps to the grid, but the stroke, depending on the point size you set, might not align unless you position it to the inside or outside. If you don't have a stroke, and just have a fill, you'll notice that the rectangle will snap to the grid line, no matter where you pull it. The path of any shape you create will snap to these grid lines. That's one way to work with a grid in Illustrator. It's similar to guides, but allows you to have a grid without having to create it manually. What if you wanted to create a specific grid in Illustrator and turn it into guides? I'll show you how to do that. Go up to View, snap the grid off, and then hide the grid so we're not dealing with Illustrator's built-in grid. Instead, we're going to use the Grid tool. The Grid tool is found under the Line Segment tool, so click and hold the Line Segment tool, and then go down to Rectangular Grid tool. Before clicking and dragging, click once on your canvas to open the Rectangular Grid tool options. You can define the width and height of your grid, the number of horizontal and vertical dividers. You can also skew these, but if you want your grid to be evenly laid out, don't adjust the skewing. Hit OK, and the grid will be created. You can scale this grid or increase the stoke weight to your preference. To turn this custom grid into guides, select the grid, go up to View, then Guides, and select Make Guides. The shortcut for this is Command or Control 5. This converts the grid into guides, which you can move around while retaining the guide properties. When you lock guides in your document, these will lock, allowing you to line up objects. If you want grid lines as guides without using Illustrator's document grid, you can create a custom grid and convert it to guides. So there you have it. Those are multiple ways to create a grid in Illustrator. Download our free ebook, Mastering Logo Grids in Adobe Illustrator. The link is in the description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more logo design grid tutorials. Let me know if you have any questions below.